everyone. This is Neo Auto, and I have some more exciting news to share with you. New images of the Bullet Mustang have surfaced online, and we can finally say this is definitely a Bullet Mustang. Now, for those of you who haven't already heard, the 2018 Bullet Mustang was spotted in public just last week, and at the time, this was the only image we had of it. Until now. New images were posted to the Chicagoland Petrolheads Facebook page, and they show us some things that we couldn't see before. So let's take a look at this first image. Now, the reason I'm showing you the back of the car first is because it proves this is a bullet Mustang. Take a look at what's in the center of that deck lid. It's a bullet decal. Now, when I put the previous decal beside it, we can see they've slightly changed it. It appears to me that it no longer resembles a fake gas cap. Instead, we have a raised logo that looks a lot like the 2018 GTs, which in my opinion looks a lot better. Now, what's really boggling my mind is, why wasn't Ford more secretive with this photo session? You would think they would rope off an area and try to keep people out, but in the background, we can see a guy on a hoverboard going by. Now let's look at the side of the car. There's a couple of things that I noticed right away. The first thing was the red brake calipers. This is a good sign that the Bullet Mustang will be equipped with Brembo brakes. A lot of people were speculating that this car was only going to have the style of the Bullet and it wasn't going to have any performance enhancements. But now that we see Brembo brakes, it shows that this car was designed with performance in mind. The next detail I noticed was the chrome trim around the window. I think it's a nice touch and it goes well with those wheels. Now like I was saying before, it does appear the Bullet Mustang was designed with performance in mind. Case in point, the seats in this car appear to be Recaro bucket seats. You can tell by looking at these two cutouts. Recaro is a world-renowned car seat manufacturer. They help keep you in place when you're going around corners. The last couple images show the car moving. This was probably done to get some rolling shots of the car. But unfortunately, there was no image posted of the front of the car. That's the only angle we haven't seen yet. But I'm not complaining. Because we finally have an image of the back of the car, we can confidently say the bullet is back for 2018. And it's not just going to be a trim level, it's going to be an all-out performer. But the question is, how far will Ford take it? Will this car be a lot like the Performance Package GTs? Or will it be a step up and have the Performance Package too? Well, it looks like we're going to have to wait until January to find out. The bullet will most likely be revealed at the 2018 Detroit Auto Show. And fortunately, it's only about a month away. In the meantime, be sure to stay tuned to this channel for future updates. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you real soon.